Hello there! Hi, how are you? I've been so excited to make this video. I asked you guys for questions in the comments of my last video. I got lots of really exciting, like, college-related and book-related questions, so I'm looking forward to getting into those. Right now, the school year has ended for me, I guess, but I'm still in the city and taking classes all summer, so I'm, I'm going all the way till graduation. <laughs> Not stopping. I'm taking this thrilling math class. This is my first math class in like three years. And I'm also in Cinema Directing 2 right now so that I can direct my Directing 3 project in the fall, which is a 10 minute short film that I wrote that I get to make now, which I didn't think would be a thing that was happening, but that is what is going to consume my fall now. It's gonna be like the first original short film, like, real thing that I get to do, like, with a crew, a budget. I wrote it, I'm really excited about it, it is queer, it's exactly the kind of story that I want to tell right now, and I cannot wait to get into it starting in, like, September. So I'm also doing rewrites for that all summer. There's been a lot going on, and I have not totally kept up with the videos throughout that time, and I'm sorry. There were Sundays where I was like, I could film a book tag right now but no one would want to see that. I was like, I'm just gonna give myself and everyone else this time real quick. I tried not to disappear too much. I'm itching to do a song right now and I don't know what to do. So that's my life right now until December when I move to LA in January and um, then I graduate in less than a year next May. And then, Ah, let's start with the questions. Summer asks, how different is university from high school when it comes to friendships? I've been told that I will just not have time, and I'm low-key excited as heck for that. This is an interesting question. Friendship is a weird thing. Coming into college, I go to, like, an art school in Chicago. So I never had the experience of, like, living in a dorm where, like, you leave your door open and everyone's running around the halls and everyone knows about the party that's going on. None of that. It was like, this is my apartment, like, get out. Everyone had a guard up very much freshman year. So everyone always told me, like, go join clubs, you know, put yourself out there and meet people. But what I did instead freshman year was go through a 10-month existential crisis, which worked out great. By the time I <laughs> came out of that a little bit, I realized that I had made some friends through my classes and through, like, projects I was working on. Slowly but surely, there ended up being some people that I was hanging out with. Most of the friends in my life are the kind of people who really put themselves out there and really know how to like get you out of your house because I'm not that person. And then once we're friends, everything's different and it's great. That kind of experience did not happen right away for me and that is okay. Because the other thing about college friends is that you never know if you're ever gonna see people again. I mean, the clock is ticking for me on my time in Chicago and then there are other people who are like studying abroad now who won't be back till I'm leaving, so like, I'm not gonna see them for a long time. And you don't really think about that like in the in the three good months you have with someone so I don't know. Fizzing Feasel asks what's your favorite topic to read about in books? Honestly lately it's hard to read things that aren't queer. I mean I still do I still love other things but after going through such a queer lit phase why would I want to read something that's not? Sydney's Books asks what are you majoring in at school and what do you want to do for a living besides booktube lol? Booktube it's really all about the community and the discussion for me still and then sometimes I will do a sponsored video and celebrate by putting guacamole on my chipotle bowl. But I do have all the respect in the world for my peers who do this so consistently and have made a career out of it. Props to all of those people. I'm studying screenwriting and directing in school. I'm not officially studying acting, but I sort of fill up all my electives with acting classes and I still audition for shows. So it's all of those things that I'm doing in school right now and hope to do afterwards. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. Ellen wants to know, how do you get out of a reading slump? I've been in one far too long and really want to get back into reading well on summer break. Me too, Ellen. A reading slump for me is usually the result of me being in denial of the fact that I don't like the book that I'm reading. There are two books that I've been trying to get through since January that I should have finished forever ago. And I've read things like in between them, but I still see those as like my current reads. And so every time I think about reading, I'm like, ugh. No, not those. The passion for reading, like, very consistently for me, comes and goes, and I've accepted that. If I really want to, like, get through a book, I will get the audiobook, and I can power through an audiobook. But I guess my advice is, what are you reading that makes you not want to be reading? Because I get it, I've been there, but why are we still trying to read these things? Because we know we'll actually like them 
once we finish them. But what is fun to read right now? Emma wants to know who are some of your fave YouTubers? I'm actually just realizing this is my cousin who commented. Hi, Emma. Outside of the booktube realm, I've always been a huge Shane Dawson fan. He's the reason that I'm here, and I love all the things he's doing with his channel lately. His new stuff is incredible. I love watching videos by Brian Jordan Alvarez. He does really short, hilarious videos, and also he has a couple web series where they're actually like 20 minute episodes, and they're incredible on his channel, and he does everything acting, editing. It's very subtly amazing quality. And along those same lines, this guy named Michael Henry is a complete genius. I really love watching Conan Gray, Dodie. Neha asks, would you ever want to write a book? If so, what would you write about? Last year, I actually did NaNoWriMo. So that was the first time I was like consistently writing in the narrative fiction structure, and I fucking loved it. I would absolutely do that again. It's not really something that's in my sights right now. I think it will work its way back. It is such an intense process. I would actually want to revisit one of the short story short films that I made in high school and like expand that into what I wanted to do. That's what I did in NaNoWriMo and I honestly want to go back to that. To close out the Q&A with one more question, Fire and Ice Art Productions wants to know, what's your Hogwarts house? I am a Ravenclaw. So that's all for the Q&A. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're up to this summer. I hope it's off to a good start if you're if you're out of school or following that timeline at all. My name is Tiernan. I'll see you guys with a new video hopefully very soon. Have a good one and